I believe this is quite evident and that it is a serious issue in our county. really need to focus on what these deaths are doing to families and in the community. When a family loses a loved one to addiction, they're just devastated. Whether a person has been addicted for a month or for several years, it's usually not an expected death. Lots of people are tempted by the excitement or the escape that drugs seem to offer. Some call these drugs harmless recreation, but they're not. Drugs are real and terribly dangerous to the neighborhoods, to the families, and to our friends. I don't know the exact prices, obviously, but I do know the prescription medication costs more, obviously. So when the insurance runs out, when they can't afford it, or when the doctor says, you know, we're beyond that, and but the individual needs that fix, needs that uh, attention, then they end up going to wherever they can find it. And so if it's the, the cost, which I know is a lot less when you buy the heroin or the cocaine or the fentanyl, whatever it is to get you through that fix. I don't have an exact number uh, what that is, but yeah. Fortunately, it does take a little while. It takes approximately three weeks for us to get from when we first send our toxicology in to get our numbers back for our, um, our forensic lab. So I haven't done the numbers quite yet, um, but they are slowly starting to